Hey guys, Ding from Ding's Workshop here. A few weeks ago, I received a new laser engraver. This is the Otor Laser Master 2 Pro laser engraver. So today, let's check it out. The package took about seven days to arrive at my house. Our tour has warehouses in the US and in Belgium to cover destinations in both America and Europe. All the parts are nicely packed inside. The assembly took me maybe 45 minutes or so. I wouldn't call this assembly easy as it has many parts to be installed. And also, I felt the installation manual that came with the product is not very useful. But Otura does have an installation video on YouTube which is very helpful. And if you prefer to read instructions, there is a much more comprehensive assembly instruction on Otura's website. The system is full metal construction and feels extremely rigid. Your cable jacks and buttons are at front. On the side, it has a plastic cable chain. This is a very thoughtful decision. The machine is also equipped with two limit switches, one for each axis. So there is no need to manually set the zero zero point in your software. The Laser Master 2 Pro is equipped with a variety of safety features. Here I'm testing the drop sensor. The idea is that during operation, if the machine is bumped or dropped, it would stop operation and thus prevent the start of a fire. It appears the sensor does not react to slow change in acceleration, but when a sudden change in acceleration is detected, the machine will stop. The machine is also equipped with an obvious emergency stop button that is very easy to use. Furthermore, the machine is also equipped with a flame sensor. This sensor operates based on UV light emission and therefore could trigger false alarms if you have a UV emission source nearby. In the user's manual, it explicitly spelled out that a spark can possibly occur when you plug in power. During my test, the spark occurrence is 100% of the time. When I was looking at this machine, the first thing I noticed is the scales on the rails are in inches, but many of the images on the internet are in millimeters or SI units. I'm guessing this particular unit in Imperial system is targeted for American consumers. However, the software I use to control the laser engraver is much well suited to work with SI units, which is in millimeters. For example, if I load a design into the software, the software will show the size of the design in millimeters. So if the laser engraver is in millimeters, that can give me a rough idea on where I should place my material. But since this laser engraver is in inches, I have to do some level of conversion before I can get a rough idea on where I need to place my material. So personally, I would much prefer to have my laser engraver in millimeters rather than in inches. Another thing I found strange about this product is on the Y axis, you have this very nice, very rigid cable chain system. Whereas on the X axis, the cable is just dangling around. And I'm not going to lie, during my test, 
This loose cable actually did get caught several times between the laser module and the limit switch. It would be much nicer if the X axis also has a similar cable chain system as the Y axis. The Laser Master 2 Pro comes with this piece of metal in a 3D printed holder. This piece of metal is used to help you adjust the height of your laser module to the optimal focus point on your material. When you turn on the laser, it will automatically detect the zero zero point thanks to the two limit switches. Comparing to some of the competitors, the Laser Master 2 Pro has a 0.08mm by 0.15mm focus area. Assuming the laser output powers are identical, the Laser Master 2 Pro delivers all that energy in a much smaller area, therefore achieving a more powerful laser cutting capability. In this experiment, I am running at full power, half speed. The initial laser penetration occurred at the very beginning of the second pass. The cutting took slightly less than 50 seconds to complete. The end result is nice and clean. In this second experiment, I still used full power, but reduced the speed to one-fifth of full speed. Notice the laser penetration occurred at the very beginning. Again, the cycle completed at 48 seconds. In this last experiment, I used full power and one-tenth of the speed. Again, laser penetration occurred at the very beginning. However, the charring is more obvious on the surface. Also, the cut was not as thorough but this might have things to do with the materials area. Here I'm comparing the cut speed of the Autour Laser Master 2 Pro with the Atomstack A5 Pro. Both lasers are rated at 5.5 watt of output power. The Autour definitely has the edge here. Not only does the Autour has a better concentrated laser, notice the Autour moves faster than the Atomstack. Because the Autour has a smaller focus area, the same amount of output energy is better concentrated at a single spot. This high density of energy delivery plus higher speed motors makes the Autour a better laser at cutting. Last but not least, Autour also has a rotary roller accessory designed for cylindrical items.
So in terms of pricing, the Ortor Laser Master 2 Pro Engraver currently retails for $449. Considering the very rigid construction, a variety list of safety features, and more importantly, the powerful laser module, I think $449 is a great price for this product. For folks who are interested in checking out the Laser Master 2 Pro from Ortor, I'm going to leave a link in the description. And if you're interested in learning how to set up the software to get started for your first laser engraver project, check out this tutorial I made on how to get started with laser gerbil. Hey, thanks for watching today's tools review. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'm Ding from Ding's Workshop. See you next time.